Welcome to the Victory VR Science Classroom. Today we're going to look at animal dissection. And we believe that virtual reality gives us a new opportunity and a new way to look at animal dissection in high school classrooms. Here are three things you should know. First, there are approximately 12 million animal dissections in schools each year. Second, for one class over five years, it costs approximately $4,000 to dissect frogs. But that same classroom dissecting cats, which is very common in the United States, costs $14,000. Now, our belief is it's possible to create a virtual reality system that is both humane and cost-effective for schools, allowing them to deploy those revenues in other places because we all know that schools are, are, are limited on the amount of cash that they have. Finally, we actually believe that we can create an experience that is better where students can actually learn more. So there's nothing sacrificed by doing it in virtual reality. Let, let's walk through what we have here in front of you. If, if you look at our desk, so one of the great things is that you can adjust the desk to be whatever height. So if, if a student is in a wheelchair, uh, it can be at that level. And if a student is uh, working at a, a different level, if they're taller, they can raise it up to, to work for them. So uh, we've adjusted the height of the, uh, of the table. Now looking to our left, we're going to reach for the scalpel and pick up the scalpel and we're going to take a real close look at that. So it, it's, it's very real. It seems as if it's the, the real thing. Now we're going to use that and now we're going to uh, open, up the, open up the frog and the yellow blocks provide a guide for students. And so they, uh, they first cut down and then they cut across and that's done. Now the next part of the process is grabbing the tweezers and you have to put your tools back exactly where you got them. This is an important lesson um, in both the, the science classroom and let's say you're in the uh, operating room. So now we're going to open up the frog and, and look at the organs inside. Okay, now we can see that the frog has been opened up and you see the organs. Next, we're going to grab the organ and be able to pull it out and look at it. Now, this is something that, that allows a student to learn in ways they couldn't otherwise learn. This gives us the ability uh, to teach in, in better ways. Now, turning to our left now, we're going to grab the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass lets us look up close and We'll just, I'll be quiet for just a moment so you can see what we do. While you're watching that, I, I also want you to see that we can add tags with the mag magnifying glass to create uh, additional learning. By the way, I should let you know that the the, the person standing in front of you is an actual high school science teacher, which we turn into a hologram, Wendy, and she is the national runner-up teacher of the year, uh, one of five finalists, and she actually will instruct the students. We don't have her instructing now, but uh, she'll instruct students on what to do, so it's very close to the actual uh, classroom simulation by an actual high school science teacher. So you can see that there's a lot that can be done, and there's a lot that students can learn uh, from virtual reality dissections. And we believe that this can be a superior way to learn than, than the way it's done now. And, and just for fun, we want you to take a look at one more thing. The classroom, all of the different parts on the table, like those bottles there, you see that orange and green bottle? We can actually pick up the bottle and set it somewhere on the table. We can pick up the other bottle, and if we, were, if we were just being a little out of control, we could throw it, throw it, and have some fun. So it's a fun way for students to learn. 
It's a more cost-effective way for students to learn, and we believe more humane. Thanks for joining us, and, and we hope you will participate in our Kickstarter campaign so that we can produce this same type of product for other animals like fetal pigs, minks, and cats. Thank you.